Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Asia. You're now tuned in to We React TV. Coming at you with a movie review. Okay? Movie review. Now, before I get into the movie review, just to let you know, spoilers. It's going to be spoilers. It's a spoiler review, okay? So just be aware. All right? Uh, this is the movie review for Frozen 2. I know this is a late one. This is another late one, y'all. <laughs> This is another late one, but hey, I'm 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 trying to give it to you. I'm trying to give it to you. Um, um, but yes, Frozen Two. Um, overall, it was a very good movie. It was a very good movie. It did it did well. It did very well to me. Um, I I enjoyed the plot. It was different. It gave more backstory on. The sisters. They gave more backstory on the sisters. Um, it also, the, pretty much this movie told about, um, it told about the story of Elsa and, um, what you call it, mother and father. You know, how Elsa got, well, I'm sorry, I might be confusing them. I might be confusing them. Sorry, sometimes I don't know why, but I'd be confusing them. I'm trying to make sure if I'm getting their right names right, y'all. <laughs> so give me just a minute on that one. I want to make sure I get their names right. Give me just a minute. Okay, Elsa. There you go. Elsa, that's right. Um, right. So we got more on how great Elsa is with her powers, what she's destined for. Um, you know, um, um, their their town was in danger. To being washed away, you know, just wiped away. Like, <laughs> you know, we got to uh, meet. Oh, uh, we got to uh, learn about the other uh, powers. The other, um, you know, since not just frozen. You had water. You had wind, fire. You know, you had all those elements. You know, um, you got. They got to learn about uh, the tribes. Um, people that's been stuck in the woods for years and you got backstab like you got think people backstabbing people betraying people like it was definitely good <laughs> you know uh, Crystal of course wanted to marry our girl uh, Anna yes <laughs> That was so difficult. Like, my man was trying every turn he, <laughs> he was trying to propose to her, and it just wasn't happening. You know? Um, I just want to say one thing. From watching Frozen 1 and 2, from watching Frozen 2, bro, just to seeing more of what Elsa can do. Now, I know in DC comic book world, you got Killer Frost. You know what I'm saying? You got somebody with a frozen ability. You got the Incredibles. You got Frozone. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else you got for frozen uh, people in uh, DC comics? You got Mr. Freeze. Doc yeah. Um, who else? Got Captain Cold. You know, in Marvel, who do we got for Frozen? That do Frozen powers. Um, a man from X Men. I'm I'm forgetting his name, but you know, you got you got some Frozen um anti heroes and villains and heroes with Frozen powers and stuff like that. I feel from watching Elsa in uh, Frozen Two. I'm telling you, um, 
I feel like she should be a, a live action superhero. Like literally. Like somebody should really have that type of a character. Like to me, because to me, Elsa's like a goddess. Like a goddess frozen. Like she's the goddess superhero with frozen powers. Like frozen abilities. Like, like just imagine that. Like that's how I feel. Just with watching Frozen, so I just feel like, yo, she she should be a live action superhero. Like, the whole look and all. Like, I would really love to see that. I really would. And also, too, the scenes where she had the horse, the water horse, the special effects on that was wonderful to me. Like, I don't know why, but I was just, I enjoyed that horse so much. <laughs> yeah, I probably look at me like, oh my gosh, she didn't enjoy it. I really did. I enjoyed the special effects of that horse that Elsa was riding. Like, no joke. Like, imagine though, like, imagine a live action Elsa in a superhero movie riding that horse, bro. I would love it. <laughs> I would really, really love it. I would really love it. Like, for real. Just, just imagine it. I can imagine it. Just imagine it, y'all. Um, but yeah, though. Um, from the movie, it seemed like their mother had powers. You know? Their mother had powers. And she helped save their father. And that's how they became together and married, you know what I'm saying? And um um also too it was a scene in the movie dealing with Olaf that almost broke my heart, y'all. I'm I'm for real. We look, it came close in the first movie when he was about to be gone for good. I was I was and then they had the nerve to do it again. That man, he, he done turned into dust, y'all. I was just like, come on, can we stop playing with Olaf, please? That that hurts my soul. Don't, because every time I see Olaf, I feel like a child <laughs> again. Like, it just hurts me. Almost like it hurted me when Disney, Um, I think it was Toy Story 3, okay? I believe it was Toy Story 3. Yes, it was Toy Story 3. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I felt like a kid, and it almost it hurt my soul. If y'all seen Toy Story 3, y'all know what I'm talking about. Going towards the end of the movie, pretty much. Where the, pretty much, not like the whole game, but the main game was about to be burnt to a crisp. I was damn near crying in that theater when I saw that joint. I was like, no, Disney is not... About to do this to us like this. I, look, <laughs> some of the little kids, look, little kids, look, the little kids at that time, look, they, they, I don't know if they were sad or not, but I was sad because who knows if they even seen the first Toy Story. Have they fe seen the first Toy Story? I've seen the first Toy Story. That is my childhood, damn it. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for, they was cold for doing that. But that's how I felt with Olaf, like from the first Frozen until the second Frozen, like, they keep playing with Olaf's life. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> he got turned into dust. But he came back to life. I was happy because I was like, y'all cold if y'all do that. Like, I'm telling you, they know how to tug at your heartstrings. They really do. But um, at the end, everything was good. Um, The town came close to being wiped away. But Elsa, of course, saved the day. Riding on the water with that lovely horse. You know? It was beautiful. Um, I meant to research uh, the names of the songs that I enjoyed in the movie. When I tell you, I feel like they did more singing than they did um, in the first one. To be honest, that was a lot of that. That was a lot of songs in that movie. It was, you know, um, it was quite a few songs. I want to say between four or five songs that I like, and I can't remember which ones they were. But. Like I said, for all in all, it was a good movie. Um, pretty much at the end, um, everybody was free from the uh, woods. P 
people that was from Elsa and Anna Town came back um, to the town. Um, Elsa decided to stay in the woods with the other people that lived in the woods in the village. Um, pretty much that's where she was pretty much needed. That was her destiny to be in the woods, you know, to, you know, protect them if anything comes lurking, you know. And then um, Anna became uh, the queen of the town, man, which made sense because it was, gonna, to me, I feel like it was going to happen anyway, you know. Um, now, I know they probably made money. I didn't research. I know they made money on this uh, Frozen 2. Um... Now I feel like they could make a third one. They could. They I feel like they could. I'm not sure how the plot would be. I'm not sure. Like like what else they can go after the second one. You know, if they do decide to do a third one, I feel they should stop at a third frozen and that's it. You know, just like how what Toy Story. They decided to go up to four. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was amazed that they were able to go to four. Like, I was thinking, like, what plot could they do? What else could they do for my gang, Woody and the gang? Like, what else could they have done? And looking at Toy Story 4, it made sense. I loved it. The ending was... Oh, man, the ending got me at Toy Story. It really did. But I kind of understood it. Um, but yeah, but, uh, for Frozen, I feel like they could do a three, but after three, that's it. Cause I feel like for Toy Story 4, I don't see what else they can do after Toy Story 4. I really can't see nothing else. I think after Toy Story 4, I feel like that should be it. Now, if they come out with a Toy Story 5, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if they did, but I feel like they shouldn't. But... For Frozen, like I said, they should stop at three. Don't go no further. Just do a trilogy and we good. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to stop at some point. You got to stop at some point. But, you know what I'm saying? You just got to, some things, some stories come to an end. You got to stop at a point. Like, what other stories can you come up with to keep going where it makes sense? You know? But, that's all I got for uh, Frozen movie review frozen 2 okay um got nothing else for y'all um but yeah i want to thank y'all for stopping by okay give y'all comments and suggestions if y'all saw frozen 2 or what y'all thought about it how y'all rate it from 1 to 10 you know just give me your thoughts okay this your girl asia we react tv catch you next time peace